Back to back 50 point games for Bernard King. Jordan trying to shake off Starks. Oh, what a move by Jordan! Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win! Let's give a nice warm welcome to our guest, Derek Coleman. <laughs> Coleman packed his bags for Syracuse, where he powered his way through the Big East and became the top player in the nation. After having been nudged there from Detroit by Dave Bing, he proved to be about as good at it as anybody who has ever suited up for the Orange. Great times, my best time of my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, the ba basketball has gave me an opportunity to travel around the world and do things. And I tell people this all the time, it's nothing like my four years at Syracuse. Syracuse did go 113 and 31 during his four years in uniform, and it was ranked number one or number two in the country at some point in three of them. And in the one where it wasn't, that was the season that ended with SU in the NCAA tournament title game, and with Derek grabbing 19 rebounds in it as a freshman. He morphed into a two-time All-American and became the NBA's overall number one pick. Number one draft pick in the yeah. NBA, I mean, it's amazing. First round pick. Yes. yes. First, first pick. Overall. Yeah, first pick overall. Yeah. The New Jersey Nets select Derek Coleman from Syracuse. In the draft, and I sat down, you know, with, with my uncle and, and Coach Bayheim, and he said, you know, Derek, yeah, you can be top five, you know, in the draft right now, but if you come back, for your senior year, you can be number one. But I thought he just wanted me to come back to school. Sure. Well, I, <laughs> ulterior motive there. And, and, but it worked out for you. I mean, it, it absolutely did. worked out for it you. It definitely did. Coleman is the prototype for the power forward of the 90s. He combines inside strength with agility, ball handling, and a deadly outside shooting touch. The power forward of, of old is just the, the post up, the dirty work guy. You know, I do that. I post up and and do the dirty work for my team. I would say, but um, Derek Coleman also has a finesse side to his game. Where um, guys that are usually my size, I can I have the advantage of taking them out because I handle the basketball so well. I, I try to just bring add to the game um, that Derek Coleman can do the dirty work, but he also can do a lot of other things too. Got the yeah, back, man. The vacuum with the ball. Oh, 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 Last season, the NBA's number one pick, Derek Coleman, proved to the NBA world just why he was the first pick in the 1990 draft. He led all rookies with an average of 18 points and 10 rebounds a game and tied for eighth overall in the league off the boards. As the season came to an end, there was little doubt that Derek Coleman would be the NBA Rookie of the Year. So you're an all-star. Yep, Rookie of the Year. Nice little cut. Look at this kid pass the ball. This kid's unbelievable. The other way, three on three. Jordan down the middle. Good pass. Coleman slam dunk. Anderson, look away. That's easy. Anderson, he leads the break. Coleman. One of the.
the few guys that's dunked on Shaquille O'Neal. I had to watch that a couple times last night. Jack, did anything embarrassing ever happen in your career? I always took pride in being the big man that never got dunked on. So one time in New Jersey, because I'm from Newark, New Jersey, mm -hmm. in front of all the fans, playing against Derek Coleman. And if you don't know Derek Coleman, he's left-handed, he's a beast. So Derek has me on the block, <laughs> and he takes one dribble, two dribbles, drop step, hit me with a little bolt. One time in New Jersey, Derek Coleman dunked on me. I'll let you show that. <laughs> I didn't really know he dunked it until I came down and the boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you gave him one of these yeah, after. I did. So you yeah. see the Kimbe stole No, no, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when I turned to, around to him, he did me like that in front of everybody. <laughs> and I looked up at my mom and dad and they go, <laughs> 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 I went to the bench and I had a little tear in my eye. I was just sitting there like. NYC shit, man. F average, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm too G for the soft shit. I'm too intelligent to believe anything you say, you just talking. We out here, A, where you missing in action. I'm P.O.R., prisoner of rap, trapped in this life, and we only look forward, never back. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my box cutter on your neck. Okay, respect to the niggas, got respect for me. This shit is quite all right, but it is not mob deep. Fuck being diplomatic, you can kiss my ass. Savage recognize savage, and you looking real bad. You a gentleman, I'm extremely brave. Yeah, I'm way too abrasive, you making me laugh Pussy who run through this money, cause it's nothing to make Pussy who run New York City's not up for debate We stuck our flagpole in the concrete, we straight We are the trend, you follow us to the Pearl Gates, Mall D You know, you played 15 years in the NBA. What, what do you think, you know, you would change about your career? I said, well, first of all, being drafted in New Jersey. It's like you're supposed to save a franchise that hadn't been in the playoffs in probably seven, eight years, mm -hmm. you know. So I thought that was the, the challenge, you know. You're like a face of a franchise. Okay, yeah, I know from coming from Syracuse, mm -hmm. I can deal what with that. that. Meant, yeah. yeah, I know what that meant. I know, you know, the challenges of that. But to be pushed out there, you know, and kind of, you, you know, you're on this plank by, by yourself. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I, would, I wish I would have just had a mentor there with me to mm -hmm. tell me, hey, Derek, you know what, don't say this. You know, say it this way. Do this. Do that. I didn't have that. What is something that you would want people to know about Derek Coleman that you, maybe you were misunderstood or felt you were misunderstood as a player or as a person, more importantly? <laughs> well, I, I always thought that people took the scowl. He used to play with a scowl. You see, nice move on oh, yeah. Look, all created by Coleman. I'm on the court. I'm all, it's all business. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not laughing, mm -hmm. you know, joking or anything, you know. I'm out here to win. Mm -hmm. We're at war. Sirens went off. And it wasn't a pleasant sound. We moved quietly and in orderly fashion down underground.
this war. Uh, Roaming through the wasteland, uh, focus trying to make grand. An unabashed Orange fan who can be found in the seats at so many of his alma mater's big games, Derek has become downright affable. And I thought, always thought that, you know, the media could never separate the two. And as an activist who's given both time and money to help those folks affected by that awful water crisis in Flint, Michigan. Well, what we have, and this is the second annual DC Elite Repack. So what we do is bring in all the high school teams across the state of Michigan to start teaching them about community service and helping people during the holiday season. Kids come in here to play basketball. You can see coaches screaming and hollering at them, but they can't focus. And the reason they can't focus is because they haven't eaten anything. A lot of people just think that hunger only affects the people here in the city of Detroit. Well, it's not just the city of Detroit. It's Macomb, it's Oakland, it's Wayne County. We have to eat nutritional foods now where you're talking about apples, oranges, grapes, or whatever have you, just so you can be able to focus on being on the basketball court, being in a classroom. How am I gonna study for a test and my stomach's growling? What's going on, Glove? How you doing? What made you hop out of play to come to Detroit? God gave us ability to get out and play professional basketball and make a lot of money. These people don't have that opportunity, as you see a lot of people that come to these stands that don't have an opportunity to eat. So with Forgotten Harvest and what they're doing to try to change that, man, that is a huge initiative. But you know what? We've accepted the challenge. Eric Coleman helps with a smile. 44, a badge in Syracuse, as much as a number, fits. <laughs>